What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of Zempy Mayhem and in today's episode we got the best bit of footage yet for the upcoming Money the Bank update which actually should be tomorrow, uh, delays aside since the first of many Money the Bank events is going to take place on Friday. So they actually posted up a video, a trailer with actual gameplay footage, the first gameplay footage of the Money the Bank line match. This is really cool, so they tweeted this out saying the update is right around the corner, here's the first look of the ladder match, brace yourselves to bring on the mayhem. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer in its entirety first, uninterrupted, and then I'll slow things down for a trailer breakdown, check out some of the stuff that this video confirms about the ladder match, stuff that we didn't know before, and stuff that you might have missed by just checking out the trailer pretty quickly once or twice. I won't be going into excessive detail though, like you won't see me like some of these guys where they're like, all right, if you go ahead and zoom in at 14.331 seconds, and then you add in, trust me guys, I'm an expert on this, add in a yellow filter, zoom in on Seth Rollins' right glove, you will notice a blue dot there. Why would a raw superstar wear blue unless he's a traitor? This means Seth Rollins is getting drafted to SmackDown. It ain't that serious, I'm not gonna dig into it that deep. Anyways, let's play the trailer. Right off the bat, not only does the Money in the Bank update look to be the best update yet, but this I think is the best trailer yet for any update. Better than the Chamber one, better than the WrestleMania one, better than the Fastlane one for sure. Uh, this I think is their best trailer yet. Really gets us excited for the ladder match. The initial footage seems to be from the beginning of the match where you see the ladder, the Money in the Bank, Luke case. Also, uh, judging by this shot right here when it fades to gray, looks like it's going to be the typical Mayhem Arena, but with Money in the Bank plastered on the time trial kind of like Fastlane and the other pay-per-views. The only time we got a special arena was for WrestleMania, so I didn't expect any, you know, big arena for Money in the Bank. Moving on to the first bit of action, this one was expected, the ability to jump off the ladders. If we could jump off the Elimination Chamber pods, of course we could do this. Uh, we see Awesome on the Time Tron, so this means that this is likely a charge attack, special attack, signature, or a super move alternative. Now this next shot is really interesting, we see both Kevin Owens and Braun Strowman climb up the ladder at the same time with the brief case hanging up high and on the time run we see simply the ladder we don't see kevin owens logo or Braun strowman's logo and you usually see those when a superstar hits a charge signature special or super move so it doesn't seem like either ko or Braun strowman hit one of those moves and they're both climbing up at the same time. This isn't a situation where you just beat your opponent and then you climb up on your own while he's down. So this one brings up a lot of questions. How is this initiated? How do you start climbing up the ladder and the opponent also at the same time? Do you have to time something? Thankfully though, the trailer doesn't end there and we do see some more footage of two superstars on the ladder at the same time. But before we get to that bit, one of my concerns was that we'd only be able to jump off the ladder. Thankfully, that concern is no more because they showed this right here, Roman Reigns gut wrench suplexing Jinder Mahal on the ladder that's leaning on the ropes. So this right here confirms that it's not just going to be moves off the top of the ladder. It's not just going to be jumping off the ladder. You'll actually be able to use the ladder as a weapon and slam your opponent onto the ladder. Maybe even use it as a weapon, hitting them with the ladder. That's cool because it would have been a shame, you know, to have a ladder match but not be able to use the ladder as a weapon other than just an object that you can jump off of, just like the chamber pod. Now, next up is the footage that I was talking about, two superstars on top of the ladder, and what do they do from there? We see Samoa Joe punching Rusev, and once again, on the time tron, we just see the ladder. We don't see Samoa Joe's logo, so Samoa Joe is not hitting some sort of special or charge attack or anything like that. This doesn't seem to be an animation that's part of, you know, some special move or super move. And you don't see, of course, Rusev's logo. I mean, he's on the other hand, he's getting punched. This actually seems to be like manual punching, like you actually punching while you're at the top of the ladder. And if so, that is something that I did not expect. I thought it'd just be simply animations. 
but it actually seems like once you get at the top of the ladder, you can still go ahead and swipe or, or tap. I'm not sure if you can do both, if you can do both medium attacks and light attacks, but it seems like you'll be able to at least do one of those and actually strike the opponent while you're at the top of the ladder. So that's going to be really cool if that is the case. Like I said, the way this footage of Joe punching Rusev looks, it doesn't look to be part of a bigger animation, a finisher animation. It just simply looks like the way it'd be when you're on the mat in the game trading punches with the opponent. Maybe at the top of the ladder, it'll work the same way as smash kills. Maybe you gotta, you know, time those taps or... Maybe you gotta just be the first one to hit a full three hit combo to knock down the opponent, not too sure, but it definitely does seem to indicate that you'll be able to manually fight at the top of the ladder and not just watch some animation where your superstar knocks down the opponent or vice versa. Next up is footage of The Miz hitting a springboard clothesline on Kofi Kingston who's on the ladder. So number one, that confirms that you'll be able to not just only jump from the ladder itself, but also springboard moves jump off the ropes as well onto your opponent who's on the ladder my question is how does that get set up you can see on the time tron the miz's logo so the miz hitting the springboard clothesline is some sort of special attack the question is is kofi kingston on the ladder is that part of the animation for that special attack or is this a situation where once the opponent climbs up the ladder you get an option to hit a special attack to stop him i don't know uh this brings up a lot of questions but also we're getting a lot of confirmed stuff here and so far everything looks cool and finally to end the trailer they show aj styles jumping off the ladder ladder onto Shinsuke Nakamura who's laying on top of another ladder that's leaning on the turnbuckle and I like the way Shinsuke Nakamura kind of slides down after getting hit. One thing this does confirm is that we'll be able to actually see two ladders in the ring at the same time so you'll be able to jump off one ladder onto an opponent who's on another ladder so it's not just one ladder in the ring at all times. So that's another cool thing right there. So hey man, what do you guys think about this trailer? Like I said, I think it's their best trailer yet, and I'm excited for Money in the Bank. I was already excited, but after seeing this, I'm even more excited because number one, we now know that you can do more than just jump off of a ladder and that's it. The Elimination Chamber match, I was extremely excited when that was announced, but it ended up being an extremely simple match. It's just a regular match. And the only difference is it looks different because you've got the Elimination Chamber structure around you, but you can't actually do anything with the Chamber structure other than jump off the Chamber pod. So that was a bit disappointing. The ladder match though looks like they put in a lot more work and a lot more detail into this and it's not as simple as the Elimination Chamber match and it's not as simple as the Rumble match. The Rumble match is almost like a regular match except instead of getting your finisher it gets replaced with a ring toss and it's the same ring toss animation this seems to have multiple moves with the ladder you can use the ladder as a weapon you can jump off the ladder you can jump you know off the ropes onto your opponent who's on the ladder seems like you'd actually fight on top of the ladder climb up the ladder at the same time as your opponent pretty much what i'm getting at here is it seems like there's a lot more to do a lot more animations a lot more attacks with the ladder match than there is with with the Royal Rumble match and the Elimination Chamber match. It looks great. Really excited for this update. I've said this before. I think it's the best update yet. And um, yeah, man, looking forward to trying it out for myself. And of course, we can't forget that we've also got the Money the Bank loot case itself. The prize for the Money the Bank event is that loot case that's unlike any other loot case. If we wait long enough, we get a four star superstar. And even that, we still don't know, you know, all the details about that. How long do we have to wait? And what happens if we open it up before, you know, the time that you're supposed to wait to get that four star superstar? Is there still a chance of getting a four star if we don't wait long enough? Or is there no chance at all? Uh, a lot of questions, uh, but a lot of cool stuff confirmed. And also another thing that we can't forget is pretty much the introduction, or at least it seems like, to Alliance Mode with the first ever co-op Unstoppable Giant event where five players will assist each other in beating Unstoppable Giants. Um, we don't even know too many details about that, but a lot of people of course have been wanting Alliance Mode and this seems to be like the first kind of preview or taste of Alliance Mode that we're gonna get. Now here's the thing though, technically right now it's Friday and so we're supposed to get the first of many Money to Make events. The update isn't out yet at the time of recording this. Hopefully this update doesn't suffer the same fate as Backlash and it gets delayed. 
uh, because if it does, then we're gonna have to wait a bit, of course, to play the Money in the Bank ladder match. All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button down below. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.